everybody. Tomorrow is Midnight Madness, and I have some things I have to do first. So first I need to check the Miata out because it might be knocking. <laughs> I don't really know yet. Uh, I checked, there's like zero oil in it, so hopefully it was just a lifter tick. So I let it sit for a little bit with some uh, oil in it, so hopefully either the lifter will release and everything is happy in my life, or it's knocking, I'm fucked. And then after I check that, then I'm bringing the 240 in, because one, I have to try to fix this vacuum leak that I found. It's not the misfire, so don't get your fucking hopes up like I did. And I need to find a way to seal off my hood, because it's supposed to rain tomorrow at Madness, and I don't want to worry about it. And I think I have a perfect idea. So I found this. It is a paint thing. I'm going to clean it the fuck out, and then I'm literally going to just set it like this on top of my hood so it looks like like a really shitty knockoff DMAX style hood vent and then I'm going to cover it in duct tape and then I'm going to use a can of flex seal to seal it all up and hopefully no rain will get in. So I'm going to check the Miata out and then I'll let you know. So it's still ticking which sounds like a normal Miata lifter tick but you can also hear a bit of a uh, knocking noise on the bottom end. I don't know, it's probably knocking. I'm just gonna keep putting oil in it and just drive it for as long as I can. All right, so I want to put this. There. <laughs> oh my God, that looks fucking ridiculous. But hey, if it's gonna keep the water out, then I don't give a shit, so pretty much. I'm gonna break these tabs off. Uh, this is probably actually where it's going to be centered at, which is actually uncentered, because uh, if I move it any further to the right, then it'll be tilted, leaning up against stuff, so this is where it will sit all flat. And then I'm just going to cover up the rest of the holes in duct tape. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire and then just flex seal around everything. Hopefully flex seal is not flammable. I don't think this is that bad of an idea, but, I don't know, it might work. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just hoping that like the duct tape and everything doesn't just fucking melt. Because I don't really have anything else to put over the hole and then put this on top. So, it's kind of my only option. So, uh, let's see what happens. And this is not a permanent fix. It's just to get me through madness in a couple days. It says it's suitable up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, so uh, that's operating temperature. <laughs> I guess I should also explain that I don't care about this hood and that I'm getting a new one. Status update on this. I mean, it's, I mean, it's working? For the most part, everything's kind of sealed up. I'm gonna throw more duct tape on it before I start throwing flex seal on it. Yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> Look at that. Oh boy. Don't fucking tell anybody I did this. <laughs> so the duct tape job is done. The duct tape says it can hold up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which the engine runs at 200 degrees, but I don't think that the hood necessarily is 200 degrees. If you've ever felt a hot hood, you can put your hand on it, and it's not 200 fucking degrees. I'm not putting anything on the inside, so I really don't think the duct tape will be the issue, but I read the uh, Flex Seal can, and it said don't use or store in any place over 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So, I don't know how well that's going to work, but we're going to do it anyways. This whole fucking deal is sketchy. Like, doing all of this is sketchy. On this episode of Hagger Garage... <laughs> so, I'm going to touch the tape up a little bit more, and then I'm going to start spraying down the flex seal. Well, it's uh, it's done. <laughs> it has now been flex sealed. Sorry for the lighting. I got a flashlight though. It has now been uh, flex sealed. So hopefully it'll keep some water out. I now have a massive black splooge. 
on my hood in a really ugly looking scoop looking thing. It's a, it's a big block. Yeah, it's a big block. <laughs> this is like a god awful idea. Like the more I think about it, the more I should not have done this. But fuck it, it's already done, so it's done. I have a fire extinguisher inside the car, so if it catches fire, whatever. If it makes it to work tomorrow, because I have to drive this, 240, to work tomorrow, and then I have to go to like the car wash after, and then go to the ATM and do some other stuff, and then I go to the track. If it makes it throughout all of that without catching fire, I think I'm fine. <laughs> I honestly don't think it's gonna catch fire. I don't think it's really gonna be that big of a deal. The Flex Seal does say that it needs close to 48 hours to fully adhere, but it's getting about 10. I'm gonna try to clean out the garage well enough to be able to fit the whole car in here tonight so then it won't be affected by the rain and it'll be able to just sit here and dry. But if you hear that I died from a fiery car crash, uh, it's, this is why. Because, um, good old Flex Seal. Flex Seal! Also, sorry for the lighting, finally bought an offbeat garage shift knob with the extension, which is sick. And with all his purchases, he gives that a sticker. So, uh, before madness, I'm gonna throw this sticky. Right here with the rest of my favorite stickies. So shout out to Offbeat Garage. I still have more stickers I need to put on the car and I still have some more inside, but I'm running out of space for stickers, honestly. <laughs> like, back window, pretty much has been dedicated to box laps. This window is now full. This has been like my, my favorite stickers window. And I needed something to put in that center spot that wasn't too big and the beat off garage <laughs> off beat garage sticker like fits in there perfectly. My other window is like the I really don't give a shit window. This one is just kind of random stuff. And then the windshield, I'm not putting anything on the windshield. And I don't want to put anything on the uh, driver and passenger window. Today on this episode of I Regret Doing This to My Hood, <laughs> I painted it. It looks okay. It'll do for tonight. And I finally did the uh little gasket sealer fix on that vacuum leak I told you about yesterday. So I've made it to madness. I've done two runs now and almost caught on fire already. I don't know what exact wire it is, but I have a wire with a shield on it that was laying on my header. So I zip tied some wiring back, got it off the header, and hopefully it doesn't fall and then start to smoke again. But um, I'm gonna relax for a little bit, cool down, get something to eat, some to drink, and then I'm gonna start driving again. So I'm gonna try to remember to put my GoPro on my car and try to film a little bit from outside if I can. So let's see. Okay, I lied, I did a couple more runs without filming it, and blew a tire, so I'm on new tires now, and I'm gonna try to film from now on. Oh, that's sloppy, what am I doing?
that's gonna end it for me tonight. I'm out of tires. I want to keep driving, but tires are fucked. I did not film a lot of driving, and I feel really shitty about it, but it is what it is. The hood scoop idea is working, and people think it's hilarious and genius at the same time, so it's a lot better than I expected, but car ran great. I drove with a lot of new people and drove a lot more with Caleb from DreamStyle. I talked to you guys about them earlier, but that's going to end it for me, so I hope you guys have a good night. I will see you in the next video.